Welcome everyone, it's Wild West Stacker, and you're watching the Saturday Morning Premiere Train. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today, I'm going to show everybody what's in my little basket here. It's got all sorts of little fun treasures, we're going to go through that shortly. But first, we'll just give a thank you to our boy Mad Stacker for setting up this Saturday Morning Premiere Train. We really appreciate it, Mad. Uh, and of course, all of our conductors. We've got the Wolf 56, Will's Treasures, myself... Mrs. Coin Crew, the Pistol Packing Pilot, Stacks and stuff. We even go all the way up to Canada to see Big Red Bullion, and we finish it off back here in Texas with Mad Stacker. So thanks so much, everybody, for checking it out. We really appreciate it. We have a lot of fun on these Saturday morning premiere trains. We call it our Saturday morning cartoons in the stacker world. All right, so uh, my little fun basket here actually has some Whitman one of these coin mounts and I've never had these before but so they were marked seven dollars our local Barnes & Noble is going to switch locations and so everything was 40 percent off so picked up a couple of these since they were so inexpensive and I think they say they're like made in USA or something on here there we go made in USA so that's the Whitman just got some of these and then they also had some books not just like this one but look we got a Merc Dime album and of course these are empty so I'm gonna have to go through and try to fill these up and there's a Roosevelt Dime album and look all the way to 64 Franklin half dollar and this one looks fun it's just a Lincoln Sense album by Warman a little different company there so this one looks like it opens up pretty big so I can go through all my Wheaties and everything and try to fill this up. Now, when Mrs. Wild West was at the store, she picked this up for me. Looks like a really cool book, The Way of the Samurai by what, Inazo and Natobe. And I really like how it's got the gold gilding on there. Nice little pocket book. You can go through and it's got a lot of pictures and stuff all throughout. So just a cool little book to check out, I thought. So, hey, all right, all right. Now, let's get into what's inside the basket here. All right, the first thing, let's pull out this little guy. And, okay, so this was a pour by Sheree Ward. I haven't really found a good spot in my safe for this yet. So maybe I'll just bring him out and leave him in some of my videos. Because this is a really cool turtle pour. And the P stands for prototype right there. And she does have her little logo. It's like a queen logo right there. It says 999 fine silver. I don't know if we can zoom in. Let me see. There we go. Oh, it says Cooter Queen. Okay, so it doesn't say 999. Still a really awesome piece. It's a chunky little turtle. Gotta love it. Thanks so much, Sheree Ward. She did a great job. All right. Now, the, you've probably seen these floating around. Um, I've seen them pretty much everywhere now. This is a little one quarter grain of fine gold. Three nines fine, and that's by the Benchmark Metals. And these are just fun little gifts to give to people or to include with orders. And I believe this one was a gift I received from Grim Metals. So, just something cool to have, and just a really, really tiny piece of gold. But I mean, to be honest, uh, that is still bigger than a gold back. <laughs> All right. Oh wait a minute. Look at this. See this guy? So when I was trying to put away my pistol pack and pilot channel round which look at that really cool I came across somebody that looks familiar see that the rat stack all right so we'll put the triple p round down and I haven't shown this one off in a long time this is my pirate stacker channel round it's 1.45 troy ounces this was back in 2021 and I chose the non-antiqued version. So this is the polished one. So look how shiny that back is. It looks like one of those Spanish doubloons or whatever. I think they got it off the Goonies is when they were trying to mimic. Wow, really cool piece. So I thought I'd show that with uh, my pistol pack and pilot because that was all done by the rat stack and he pours those down in Hawaii. All right, now this one. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. 
and I do not know how to handle these, obviously. So I don't quite understand these flips, and I think that's what I just bought, actually, is you staple them in here, but look, there's no plastic protecting it. So I don't really understand the point. And this is the 2019 San Antonio Mission. So this one is a 3 nines fine quarter. It is not a 90%. The 2019 and on are all pure silver. I think I got a, several of these, so this should be just another one. 2019. Let's see here. And this one should be a 2019 as well. Yep, another 2019. Awesome. And some Wyoming silver. Now these ones are only 90%. Still the estimate mark on there. 2007. So... Unfortunately, because it's pre-2019, this one and this other one are both 90% proof. Really cool. Um, I don't know if I really like these flips now that I'm really looking at them, and I just bought a whole case of them. So, interesting. I don't understand the point of not protecting it, really. So, I don't know. Interesting. So I'm just going to put them back inside this little package here and they'll probably go back in the safe because I don't want them to tone up too much. That was an interesting piece. Now to kind of go with that, I totally forgot to grab these up. Alright, so these are 2019 and these are 3 nines fine silver Kennedy half dollars. Really cool. Now, oh. Now, when I picked these up, they were only $25 each, and that was shipped. And the price on these has gone up significantly lately. I don't know why. They, they're they really not a whole lot of silver. What is it, like 12 point something grams each? So they're still less than one tray ounce between the both of them. And yet, the cheapest I've seen these so far going is about $48 each shipped, so... Maybe that was a good buy. I don't know. Uh, as a stacker, I'm apprehensive about getting any more. But as the collector, I'm thinking, hey, this might have gained some value. So a little different pickup right there with those Kennedy half dollars. All right. Let's take a look at this tube. Um, you know, maybe I'll just throw a glove on real quick because I don't know if these are uncirculated or not. Let's just take a look here. Hmm. There, people. That's all the owner takes to put a glove on. Look, even though it's a crappy glove. Oh, do I have it inside out? Okay. Anyways, so these are un pesos. Really cool. Now these are all just 10%. Oh, we have some with toning on them. I like the toning, but some people don't. It's each their own. But these all have, look, edge writing, just like a regular Libertad does. And boy, some of these look really clean. These are really fun to collect. I wouldn't stack them. They're just 10% silver. Um, but just know they're out there and I have seen them rising in value going up a couple bucks So All right, what do we got here? Okay, so This is my experiment I have going on. I'm trying to tone a silver eagle I actually took this one with Florida to me just kept it inside the little case right there just seeing if it tones up anymore haven't got a lot of colors, but around the edges, it's starting to get a little bit of a green green tint to it. So, just something I'm trying out. And on the other side, I have a porcupine fish. I was hoping to get some color on him, but I don't think that's really going to happen. He just kind of be looks like some dirty silver now. The queen side has a little bit of toning on the edge, some gold color. But I already have a BU one of these, so I just thought I'd try to tone it up. Remember, it's your silver. You can do with it what you want. So, awesome. What else we got in here? Okay, it looks like we got a peace dollar. 
Oh, that's a 24 and that thing is thick. Okay, so there's two piece dollars in there. 22 and a 24. Nothing too special. And look at these guys. All right. These are the one-tenth of a troy ounce Britannias. And boy, they are small. They are really tiny. And so far, it doesn't look like any of them have toned up inside of the capsule at all. They all look really good. I guess it's just a tube, just a big capsule. I think I would like to find something that would protect these better, just put them individual. It seems like these have gone up in value quite a bit. They're now worth about eh, 12 to $14 is what I'm seeing on eBay. And I have to pay shipping too, so. Pretty cool little coins. And each one of these tubes, I believe it's like 16 comes with them. And look, I've grabbed three tubes. Let me just set these down and I'm actually going to go through another tube and see if it looks nice and shiny just like the others still. Alright, so here's another tube. Now I was picking these up for not too bad. I think they were like $58 shipped for this little tube of 16, which is really high priced even way back then. But now considering the, the price of them all going up, it might have been worth it. So... I guess if I put them in individual capsules, they might gain a little more value selling them individually. All right, last one. Here we go. Oh, there is one more. Okay, so look, these ones are a little different. These are the quarter ounce from 2021 into the 2020s. I totally forgot I bought those. You can see the difference there. Oh, there we go. Look how tiny that little capsule is. And, I mean, their capsules seem to do a really good job from keeping the air out. I don't see any toning. They all look shiny brand new. Britannia, 2020. Awesome. All right, well, it looks like these all worked. We saw what was in the basket. Well, thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by. We checked out some fun silver, but you are riding the premiere train, and it is time to move on. So make sure you click the link down in the chat, and you follow us to the next person who is Mrs. Coin Crew. All right, everybody, this is Wild West. Have a great one.